Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name this morning. Be exalted in this place. Our hallelujah belongs to you. Hallelujah is the highest praise. All our praise belongs to you this morning. All the glory, all the honor, all the adoration, it belongs to you. Look what you've done, O God, the great and mighty God, the ancient of days, the king of glory, the one who is strong and mighty, the one who is matchless in splendor, matchless in power. Power, much less in peace, much less in goodness, much less in love, much less in compassion. Nobody deserves the praise but you. We, your children, we have gathered to honor you. We have gathered to praise you. We have gathered to reverence you. We have gathered to glorify your name, O oh God, for you are good. You are great. We worship you. Louvre gada sekendeleba we thank you, O oh God. You deserve it. Ragado sofre ge deleba. Ragada sekende rebosia. Ragado sofre ge delebo rogodosia. Makoro robo shanta la barabosia. Randi la vazo vazuvra dadaba. Radadaba legado sobre. We bless your name this morning. What an awesome God we are serving. How great you are, O oh God. How marvelous. How beautiful. Oh, ria baba 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 seke delebo. We bow down this morning and we worship the King of glory. We bow down and worship the one who is awesome in this place. The one who made us, our maker, our creator. Elohim, we worship you this morning. We worship the almighty God, the all powerful God, Elohim, the creator of every living thing. We worship the one who is called El Elyon, the one who is the possessor of the heavens and the earth. We worship the one who is called Yod He Vav He Yahweh, the self existent God whom nobody created. You are the source of everything. You are the source. You are eternal. You exist exist before time began and you continue to exist Lord outside time we worship you this morning for who is God besides you who is a king besides you who is like unto our God who can be compared to you oh Lord you are matchless in glory matchless in splendor matchless in power matchless in strength matchless oh God there is no God like our God there is no king like our king there is none that could ever ever come closer. You are worthy of our praise this morning. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy to be magnified. You are worthy to be reverenced. You are worthy. You deserve it, Lord. Our hallelujah belongs to you. Yes, Lord, none can be compared to you. We thank you this morning. We worship you. Lord, when we think about this very thing, that on planet earth, there are kings, there are People in eminent positions that would not allow us to call them by name. We cannot call them by name. We cannot call Charles in the UK and say, hello, Charles. We can't call him by name. We have to call him titles and titles. But your great name you have given unto us freely. Your great name. We can call your name Jesus this morning and you respond and the world and the spirit realm responds. Lord, thank you for the privilege. What a privilege and an honor to be able to come into the courts of heaven without protocol. We can just come. We can just approach you. We are grateful this morning that Lord, you have invited us with an everlasting invitation that we can come into your presence. Oh God, we don't need to do anything. The blood of Jesus has made the way for us. You said we can come by a new and a living way. This morning we come, oh Lord, by the new and living way. We come into your presence by the new and living way that Christ has opened up for us by reason of his death and resurrection. We come this morning through the broken body of Jesus. We come through the intercession of our master. We come through Jesus, through the sprinkled blood that has been sprinkled in the heavenly tabernacle. We come under the covering of that blood and we approach your seat of glory father 
and we say thank you. Thank you that we are here on Mount Zion because the Bible says uh, we have come to Mount Zion according to Hebrews 12 from verse 22. We have come to Mount Zion. Every time uh, I exercise my right as a child of God, uh, I am there on Mount Zion. I am not praying from planet earth uh, because we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus far above all principality and power and every name that can ever be named both in this world and the world to come. Thank you Lord that as we appear in Zion right now, we are on Mount Zion in the headquarters of the universe, in the city of our God, in the heavenly Jerusalem, in the company of an innumerable company of angels, in the company of the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven. Thank you, Lord, right now that there is a big church service going on upon Mount Zion with all our brethren in Christ. Thank you, Jehovah God, that we are in the company of the just judge of the universe. We are in your presence. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. How great thou art. How great thou art. We magnify you, O God. Thank you that according to Hebrews 12, 24, we've come to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We have come to the blood of sprinkling, which is speaking upon the mercy seat. Speaking mercy over judgment. We thank you, Lord. We worship you. We thank you. Oh, we give you glory. We give you glory. We thank you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we worship. Good morning, brethren. We can't ever thank him enough. He is worthy. Hallelujah. Let's go to Colossians. Colossians chapter 1. Colossians chapter 1. The Bible says from verse 9, For this cause, we also, since the day we heard of it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power and to all patience and long suffering with joyfulness, giving thanks unto the father who has made us qualified to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. I want us to thank God this morning from verse 12 and say, Lord, I am thanking you that you have qualified me to receive the inheritance of the saints in the light. Praise God, child of God, the inheritance of the saints in the light is an all encompassing inheritance. It is an awesome inheritance. Every prayer request you have ever had is already covered in the inheritance of the saints in the light. Whatever you would ask for is already covered in the inheritance of the saints in the light. So this morning, I want you to thank him that Lord, thank you that I'm qualified. I have been made a candidate of blessing by the father, the eternal father, Father looked at me and said, patience, you are qualified. You are qualified. Everything in you that I see, I am seeing under the lens of the blood of Jesus. I see you through the the blood. I see you through the sacrifice of the lamb. And I declare you qualified this morning. Child of God, thank him this morning. Say, Father, I thank you that I am qualified. I have been empowered and enabled to receive the inheritance of the saints in the land light for the bible says uh, the light shines in darkness and darkness could not comprehend it Uh, darkness could not overpower the light uh, because i am qualified uh, to receive what those who are in the light receive Uh, it means that uh, i dwell in the light Uh, the light is emanating around me uh, and because the light is emanating around me uh, i am qualified uh, to receive every blessing uh, that the lord has in store for me this morning Uh, i am qualified Uh, i am an enabled. I am empowered. I am energized. I am filled with the glory of the living one. I am qualified this morning. Thank you, Father. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Verse 13, God has delivered us. Past tense, not that he is yet to deliver or he is going to deliver. God has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Have you seen when the war broke out in Ukraine and they were faring people out of Ukraine into other European countries? They were delivering them from the power of Russia. Imagine this child of God. Once upon a time, you were under the jurisdiction of the wicked one who is called the Satan, the opposer, the adversary, the one who is against you, the anti who is against your rights. Once upon a time, you were under under his jurisdiction. He was afflicting you. He was punishing you. He was beating you up. He was torturing you. But hallelujah, God came and a rescue mission was initiated. You were carried out of that jurisdiction. And right now you are under a different nation. No demon, no power, no human being can decide to come to the United Kingdom and begin to oppress the children of the United Kingdom. The army will rise up. The MI5 will rise up. The MI6 will rise up. Everything will rise up to defend the inhabitant of this nation. Right now you are not in any other kingdom. You are on Mount Zion. You are under the kingdom of the dear son of God. Begin to declare it this morning. Every power of darkness has no jurisdiction over me because I have been translated out of the power of darkness to the kingdom of the son of the living God Jesus. I am not under the jurisdiction of Satan. I am not under their jurisdiction. Therefore, every manifestations of the power of darkness they are rebuked this morning because they are trespassing they are trespassing they are trespassing they are not permitted here we locate every trespassing demon every trespassing spirit whatever is trespassing whatever has left its demonic domain and has come into the domain of the children of God we locate you by the finger of God and we rebuke you this morning in the the mighty name of Jesus, ilamo robo sata ilavragada da da badegada dika dula mahanda. In the name of Jesus. We decree and declare it this morning. According to the word of the Lord, we have been delivered from the power of darkness. Therefore, whatever in your life is representing the manifestations of the power of darkness, I curse it from its roots and I command it to dry up. Every manifestation of the power of darkness, dry up from your roots. In the name of Jesus, we are not in your kingdom. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. By the blood. By the blood, we are free. For whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Thank you, Lord. Colossians 1 from verse 15. The Bible says, Jesus is the image of the invisible God. Through Jesus, we see the Father. Through Jesus, we see the invisible God. He is the firstborn of every creature. For by him, by Jesus, were all things created, including the Satan and all demons. By him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth, both the visible and the invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things and by him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Jesus is number one, for it pleased the father that in him should all fullness dwell. I want you to declare it this morning that I am the body of Christ. Christ is my head. My head is above all things. My head created all things in heaven and on the earth. My head created the visible and the invisible. 
My head created thrones and dominions and principalities and powers. All things were created by my head and for my head. Because it's for my head and by my head, it means I, the body, I am also above them. They were created to serve me. They are created to be under my feet. They are created to serve me. Begin to declare it. Because they are under the feet of my head, they are under the body as well. Because you cannot be under the head and not under the body. Therefore, I remind the kingdom of darkness this morning in the name of Jesus that almighty Jehovah has placed them under my feet in the mighty name of Jesus father we thank you in Jesus mighty name we pray amen when we go to Colossians chapter 2 Colossians chapter 2 verse 10 the Bible says you are complete in Jesus, who is the head of all principality and power. I want you to understand something. If there's any witchcraft meeting somewhere, Jesus is the head of that meeting. If there's any marine spirit causing trouble in some ocean, in some river, in some area, Jesus is the head of that marine spirit. That mummy water is under his feet. He's the head. If there's any spiritist gathering and there are warlocks thinking they can change the timings and the seasons of God's children, God is the head of their meeting. Jesus, he is the head of all principality and power. Whatever the demon we can name this morning, God is the head of them. Jesus is the head. Therefore, I want us to remind them this morning that we are in Christ the Bible says we are in Christ and Christ is in us. Any place I am going to walk into this morning, Christ walks into that place. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Christ is in me. I am in Christ. Therefore, if it means this, that where I go, the head of all principality has arrived. And if your head arrives, you have no option but to bow. Every knee must bow. Philippians 2, 9 and 10. Begin to declare it this morning. Begin to say it. Because I am complete in Jesus, who is the head of all principality and power, because Christ lives in me and I am in Christ, everywhere I go, it means principalities and powers have to bow because their head is inside of me and I am inside of him. Wherever I go, I carry the manifestations of the head of all principalities and power. Declare it, child of God. Declare it. Let your mouth, let your voice speak it this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I am under the power of Jesus. Everywhere I go, principalities and powers must bow this morning of things in heaven, of things on the earth, of things under the earth. Because Philippians 2, 9 and 10 tells me that God has highly exalted Jesus and given him a name above all name. That at the name, at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee must bow of things in heaven, of things on the earth, of things under the earth. And every tongue must confess that Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father in the name of Jesus. Therefore, Father God, wherever we go, wherever our feet shall tread in this new season, we decree and declare that the principalities and the powers and the rulers of darkness and the spiritual wickedness in high places and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of God, they must bow in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My beloved, those of you who are on the WhatsApp group, I've posted a document there that has some notes that I want us to use this morning. Why am I sharing this document with you? I'm sure you've heard me mention before that the 10 plagues of Egypt were not just a random thing. It wasn't just, oh, how did he pick the frogs and the lice and turning water to blood? Each of those plagues was a blow to a specific Egyptian goddess or godling. The Egyptians who were serving these goddesses and these godlings knew what God was doing. When they saw each plague demonstrated that their goddess or their godling was not powerful. That's what each of the plagues represented. I've put a document there with notes that tell you more about it because we don't have time to teach it here, but I've mentioned it before. Just go and read it afterwards. We are taking our prayers from that dimension. Why? 
Because overnight, God opened my eyes. I saw on the streets, these massive, massive spirits. They were in the shape of frogs. You know, with the big um, frog legs, the webbed legs, they were just going up and down the street. They were massive, massive. Each frog would cover the whole road, like both sides of the road. They were massive front and back. And I was saying, Lord, what is this? And the Lord said, these are unclean spirits. They are demonic powers. They, they, They are principalities that are walking and ruling different territories. And the Lord took me back and said, remember the plagues of Egypt. I want you people to pray as you are waiting upon me this week. Pray so that there would be a total blow on every, every godling and goddess in your family lines, in your territories, in your regions, whatever they are. God did a final solution with Pharaoh and his people. We want him to do a final, a final solution because we, we know that when Jesus died on the cross, he said it is finished, but here they are still trying to flex their muscles. We want to ask God this morning to Effect the power of the cross so that it will be a total defeat. And because we don't know which godling is operating in your village, in your family, we are going to go and use these 10 plagues of Egypt as our template to come against godlings and demonic powers. Amen. If we start in Exodus chapter 5, in Exodus chapter 5, the Bible says God told Moses and Aaron to go and tell Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, let my people go. Let my people go. And it's the same message this morning to cancer, to diabetes, to, 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 to disability, to kidney failure, to, you know, marital problems, to financial problems. Let my people go. But do you know what Pharaoh said in verse two? He said, Who is Yahweh that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I do not know Yahweh, neither will I let Israel go. He was saying, who do you think you are to God? And you know what? That same Pharaohic spirit is what is causing that repeated cycle of problems in your life. That problem is saying, who is Yahweh that I should respect him? Who is God? I'm not letting you go. But we know that after 10 plagues, they did. I want you to pray this morning and say, Father, Yahweh, the self-existent God whom nobody created. Here I am this morning. This situation is asking me, who are you to let me go? Now, Lord, reveal yourself to this circumstance. Reveal yourself in this issue. Lord, reveal yourself that you are God over cancer. Reveal yourself you are God over musculoskeletal troubles. Reveal yourself you are God over poverty. You are God over affliction. You are God over sorrow. Lord, it is asking me. This situation is saying, who is the Lord that I should obey him? Lord, reveal yourself this morning. By the time we share the grace on this prayer line. May, oh God, uh, your glory have been revealed in this circumstance. Uh, May they know that you are my God uh, and it is you that I serve uh, and it is you that I'm calling on. When I wake up in the morning, I am not praying to an evil altar. I am not praying to a godling. uh, I am praying to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. uh, I am praying to the one who is the master of the universe. uh, I am praying to Jehovah Nisi, my banner of victory. I am praying to Jehovah Sabaoth, the commander in chief of the angel armies. Lord, reveal yourself this morning. Father, locate every stubborn pharaonic spirit that has been operating in the lives of your children. Whatever has refused to let them go. Reveal yourself this morning, O God. Reveal in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The songwriter wrote and said, He is the Lord and He reigns on high. He is the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, Show your power, O Lord our God. Show your power. Oh Lord, 
our strength, our strength. The Lord is showing his power. He is showing his strength. He is the Lord and he reigns in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bible says, Pharaoh answered them and said in verse four, why are Moses and Aaron disturbing people from doing their slavery work? Get back to your burdens. Are you listening to the language? Get back to your burdens. Satan has given you burdens and loads that Jesus never gave you. And when you raise up your head to say, today I am free. After prayer line finishes and we share the grace, he says, get back to your burdens. And some people go back and they begin to carry the load. I love my Nigerian family. They said, let the owners of the evil load carry their own load. I am not getting back to any burden. I want you to begin to declare this morning and say every demonic power that has given me afflictions and burdens that are not coming from God. I refuse to carry your burden. I return it back to sender in the name of Jesus. Let every demonic burden return on the heads of the senders sevenfold in the name of Jesus that they might learn to fear the Lord. I refuse to carry any burden that is not from God. I reject it because Jesus said my yoke is easy and my burden is light. I refuse to be burdened with all kinds of demonic oppression we refuse it we refuse it we reject it we renounce it Lord, I am praying for myself and every man, every woman on this prayer altar. Lord, any one of them who has been carrying burdens, we finish prayer. Answers have come after the prayer. Out of faith, they step out and they go back and carry the burdens. I decree an end to that cycle in the name of Jesus. And whoever is living the dimensions of faith and beginning to walk in the dimensions of the natural and carrying what doesn't belong to them. Father, we decree an end to that demonic cycle in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We are not of them who walk by sight. We walk by faith. Even after we've shared the grace, if you can still see the lamp, the, the spot, the, 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 the symptom, when you see it, declare to it you are a liar because my God cannot lie. It is impossible for God to lie by two immutable things with which it was impossible for God to lie. His oath and his word. I am healed. I am delivered. I am transformed. I have the provision. What I'm seeing now, you are a lying wonder. And I refuse to be bewildered by a ly lying wonder in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every, the Bible says in, 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 in Exodus 5 verse 6, it says the Pharaoh commanded them the same day and gave taskmasters over the people saying, you shall no more give these people straw to make bricks. Go, let them gather the straw for themselves. So because they are lazy, that's why they are crying. Let us go and pray. Let me go to prayer line. Let me go and fast. They are becoming, they are, they are, they are becoming lazy according to Satan. We want them to go back and be occupied. He says he gave them taskmasters. What are taskmasters? They are familiar spirits, child of God. In your lineage, they knew your great grandmother. When she was about to go to the next level, they stopped her. And now they think they can stop you. I declare them liars. Taskmasters, they follow you around and they give you numerous tasks. So that you can be doing these things, saying I'm busy, whilst you forsake prayer, you forsake the necessary things. While you are busy with what you are busy with, they are loading more burden on you. We are going to declare this morning, in the name of Jesus, every taskmaster assigned to my family, assigned to my bloodline, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke you, I rebuke you. I, re I suck every taskmaster. I chase them from my bloodlines. I chase them from my family. I chase them from my lineage. Every taskmaster. What is the job of the taskmaster? They oversee your problem. They make sure the problem doesn't end. They oversee the suffering. They oversee the burdens. They oversee the stress. They oversee the struggle. That is why you sit and you're thinking for five hours, turning things uh, upside down, this side up, this side up. After five hours, you have a headache you feel more sick is the taskmaster this morning begin to rebuke them begin to rebuke the taskmaster in the name of jesus 
Look at it this way, child of God. Look at it this way. A taskmaster is that evil spirit, that evil power that has been given a contract concerning your life. They went to Satan and Satan gave them a contract. And he said, look, I'm going to promote you in my kingdom. You're going to do well. But what I want is for you to make sure that those people on the 6 a.m. prayer line, they are destroyed. I want you to make sure that they don't get testimony. I want you to make sure that they are running around in circles. Uh, I want you to make sure. And then the taskmaster takes the contract. They have a contract over your life. It's like somebody hired. You know, you've heard of assassins that are hired and they give them money and say, if you kill so and so, I am paying you half a million. That is what the taskmaster is. They have a contract. They are not taking their job lightly. They take it very seriously. That is why as you are praying this morning, I want you to take them seriously too and begin to decree and declare and pray like never before. Because child of God, I am prophesying over you. Every demon, every human being that has a contract over your life in the name of Jesus, this morning their contract comes to an end. I rip it up in the name of Jesus. Let that contract catch fire in the name of Jesus. Let that evil contract catch fire and let their evil work come to an end. Begin to pray. Lift up your voice and pray. Loose yourself. Release yourself. Loose yourself this morning. Loose yourself. Loose yourself this morning. Loose yourself. Loose yourself. Loose yourself. Lose yourself this morning. Every evil taskmaster assigned against any of us, we locate you by the finger of God. Your legal rights to afflict, to steal, to kill and destroy. Your legal rights have been revoked by reason of the blood of Jesus because we have been translated out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the son of God. You have no jurisdiction over us. Therefore, you evil taskmasters assigned against our bloodlines. We locate you by the finger of God and we rebuke you. Your assignment comes to an end now. Your assignment comes to an end now. Your contract comes to an end now. Let that contract catch fire. Let that contract catch fire. Let it be destroyed by fire. Let it be destroyed by fire. Let it be destroyed by fire. Holy Ghost fire. Destroy every satanic contract. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Proverbs chapter 6, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 5, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 5. The New King James uh, uh, Version says, Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter. Hunters love gazelles because they are tender meat. You know, they are like eating lamb. Deliver yourself like a gazelle from the hand of the hunter and like a bird from the hand of the fowler. There is a hunter. There is a fowler. What does the fowler do? The fowler sets traps. They set traps to catch birds with. The hunter is chasing after the gazelle with weapons, with arrows, with spears. This morning, Bible says, deliver yourself, my son, deliver yourself, my child, my daughter. I want you to declare it and say, in the name of Jesus, I am delivered from the hand of the hunters. Every power that has been assigned against my life, my spouse, my children, my family, my bloodlines, my family, both by birth, by marriage, by the blood of Jesus, the family I have, biological, spiritual, family I have, by friendship, by covenant relationship, I declare as delivered from the hand of the hunter, every hunter that has been chasing you up and down in the name of Jesus, by the finger of God, we locate the evil hunter, let 
the power of God arrest them. Let the power of God arrest them. We are delivered. Deliver yourself. Do not allow any hunter of destiny to use your life as their bounty. Do not allow any demonic hunter to take your destiny and use it as their bounty. In the mighty name of Jesus, we deliver ourselves in the name of Jesus. Every trap. Deliver yourself from the trap of the fowler. Whatever traps that the fowlers have set in your days, in your days, in your existence on planet earth, that trap at work, that trap on the motorway, that trap on the road, that trap in the house, that trap outside, every trap they've set, we deliver ourselves from their traps. We render their traps powerless. You are free in the name of Jesus. For whom the sun sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus, you are delivered. You are delivered. I declare myself free. I declare myself free. I declare this prayer line free from the snare of the hunter and from the trap of the fowler. We are free from every evil arrow that had been sent against us by day or by night. I declare us free in the name of Jesus. Yes, we are free. Whatever had been thrown at you, whether it's a curse, whether it's a spell, whether it's enchantment, I declare you free, child of God. I declare myself free. I declare our families free in the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing is going to stop you in this season. Begin to declare it and say, I am unstoppable. I am unstoppable because underneath me are the everlasting arms. I am unstoppable. I cannot be stopped. I am moving forward. Yes, I am moving forward. Yes, just like that song Israel Horton sang. It says, not going back, moving ahead, here to declare to you, the past is over. Are you listening? Things are made new. Yes, all things are made new. You're moving forward. I'm not going back. I'm moving ahead. Yes, I'm declaring to you all my brethren we are moving forward ha higher higher and higher in the name of jesus and there is nothing that devil can do about it we are unstoppable the wind under our sails is the holy ghost in the name of jesus we're unstoppable we cannot be stopped we cannot be frustrated it's impossible in the name of jesus kalabasanda as we round up this morning before I ask for any prayer request, I want you to open Psalm 124 and speak it over your life. Psalm 124, we will declare it verses 1 to 8. The word of God has power. The Bible says in Isaiah 55 from verse 10, 11, so shall my word be which goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall prosper where to the thing that I sent it. As you are declaring the word of God, as you are reading the word of God, you are not just reading, it's a prophecy. Jesus said, the word that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. When I read a verse, I'm not just reading logos, I'm not reading mere words, but this is the rumor of God. This is the revelation for us today. This is the word that is moving you to the next level. That's what rima does. And as you speak it, it's a prophecy that comes to pass. As you declare it, it's a proclamation. It's like the king sent messengers who are reading a proclamation, an edict, and it is established forever. That's what it is. That's why we read these scriptures out and we personalize them. It is an edict. It's like God sent you this morning to declare in that territory where you are. You lift up your voice and you proclaim it with a loud and clear voice. And the kingdom of darkness have no choice but to respect it. Because this is the word of the king of glory. And it cannot go back to heaven without doing what God sent it to do. It's not in your time and in my time that people should be asking, where is this power they are talking about? It's not going to happen in our time. Hallelujah. Are you there, child of God? Psalm 124. We're going to take it together from verse 1. You are going to personalize it and say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side. Now, may the 6 a.m. prayer line say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side. When men rose up against us, they would have swallowed us up quick. When their wrath was kindled against us, then the waters would have overwhelmed us. 
the stream would have gone over our soul. The proud waters would have gone over our soul. But thank God all this didn't happen. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul has escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken. The trap is broken. Cancer is broken. Diabetes is broken. Mental illness is broken. Poverty is broken. Oppression is broken. Confusion is broken. Ah, backwardness is broken. Retrogression is broken. Stagnation is broken. Frustration is broken. It is broken. The snare is broken. And we have escaped. We are free indeed. We are free. You are free to go and prosper. You are free to go and enjoy your marriage. You are free to enjoy your children. You are free to enjoy the job God gave you. You are free to enjoy the ministry. The snare is broken. Go and enjoy. Enjoy October. Enjoy this month. Enjoy divine provision. Enjoy divine help. Enjoy divine promotion. Enjoy divine lifting. Enjoy your life. Jesus says I have come. That they might have life. And life in abundance. The snare is broken. There is no reason why you cannot get that mortgage. The snare is broken. There is no reason why you can't buy that house. There is no reason why you can't get that promotion at work. There is no reason why the door has not been opened. The snare is broken. We have escaped. There is no reason why you can't pass that exam. The snare is broken. We have escaped like the bread out of the snare of the fowler. We are free. You are free to live the destiny God ordained for you. You are free to be who God says you are. You are free to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We have escaped. You have escaped. I declare a child of God. I have escaped misery. I have escaped sorrow. I have escaped affliction. I have escaped every form of limitation. I am the children the Lord has given me. We are for signs and wonders. We have escaped the evil patterns of our bloodlines. We have escaped the evil patterns of our village. We have escaped the evil patterns of the nations we come from. In the name of Jesus. Finally, let's declare verse 8 together. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our help. Is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. We lift up our eyes to the hills. From whence cometh our help? Our help cometh from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. On this very day, he has sent help out of Zion. He has sent help. Angels on assignment. Let me assure you, child of God. Angels are everywhere right now. And you have to maintain that atmosphere. Angels are drawn to an atmosphere of faith. As soon as you start your doubt and your unbelief, you chase them away. Don't chase your angels today. Maintain them. Allow them to finish the job. They are on assignment. There is a job to do. There is a work to do in your life. Don't chase them. Don't change the story after grace. In the name of Jesus. God will not allow your foot to be moved. God is not sleeping. Your blessing is here. The Lord is keeping you. The Lord is your shade. If the, any sunshine is trying to be a problem, is your shade. Is your shade. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord has preserved you from all evil. He has preserved your soul. He has preserved your coming out and your going in from this time forth, even forevermore. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen and amen.